What's up guys, today we're going to be playing Lollipop Chainsaw. It's going to be a blind slash unblind first two levels or something like that. I've, I've only played the first two levels and I really did like it and I was like, you know what? This might be a decent game to try a, my first blind LP on. Not too sure though, we'll see how it goes. Um, in preparation of this game, I played another zombie game, Dead Rising, which I've had nothing but bad experiences with. And mostly because I've tried playing with friends with them and I either just went around killing zombies when we were supposed to be doing objectives or I really sucked like in Call of Duty and couldn't kill the zombies fast enough. So I'm gonna try this one and it, it seemed pretty fun. You know, you get a decent amount of time to run around and just kill zombies instead of like, hey, you have to do this. You know, kinda, it's more of a straightforward hack and slash than too complicated and just straightforward, so. Anyway. Let's see, I hope y'all watch the intro to actually see what's going on, and this is our star Juliet here in the right. And uh, I'll go over the menus and stuff like that real quick for you. I really do like the playstyle of this game though, it's kind of uh, arcade-ish slash, I don't know, I've watched Scott Pilgrim and stuff like that, so it's really cool. Um, right here you have, if you press square or Xbox equivalent, you have uh, your ranking mode and stuff like that, you can choose what level you want and actually go against people in the world and for trophies you can compete against your family members scores inside the game or your friends online stuff like that uh, and you have Juliet's house and uh, you can go to her room and check out things like uh, collections and stuff like that I don't have too much but there's a couple things in here and yeah, let's see costumes you can buy costumes and you know change them and see how they you know it's, it's yeah Anyway, and leaderboards, so not too much. Anyway, getting into the actual story, we're going to go with the parking lot, which is actually the prologue where Juliet's trying to ride her bike and uh, catch her boyfriend so they can go celebrate their birthday together, apparently. I really do like the design of this. It's It seems like old comic bookish. So it's really appealing. So if you're looking for a super realistic zombie game for some reason, uh, this this probably wouldn't be it. But it's a lot of fun. And I know I didn't want to put it down because Golds was begging me to play. Uh, well, not begging, but wanted to play Borderlands. I was like, ah, I really want to play this because it's kind of addicting. So, and I'm not controlling the bicycle. If anybody's wondering, purely cinematic. Ah, oh, that's good thing they're a zombie. I'm dead, douchebags. Yeah, OMG, super colorful. And <laughs> twenty points for being in a children's basket. And that's our star. So apparently she's rocking her Daisy Dukes. I didn't realize that I changed it permanently, but oh well, deal with it. Yeah, kick over that school bus. So the stars around them means they're dazed or they're groggy, and uh, that's pretty much a one shot for headshots. And. Like I said, I'm going to be jumping around a lot. It's Sometimes the camera angle will get a little messed up and just something you deal with. But it's still, uh, <laughs> compared to Dead Rising, you can just jump around so much more and your, your character moves fluidly as opposed to, oh, I went the wrong way, now i got to move my, and it takes five seconds to move your character. Okay. You're gonna see me using a lot of like acrobatic moves, and I I tried doing this earlier. Um, you can't restart an entirely new game 
if you upgrade your character at all, like it's going to stay upgraded through your future playthroughs. And I don't know if there's a way around this yet, but I'll try to figure it out sometime. <laughs> and seeing as I've already played this playthrough, or this prologue, this is one of your classmates that goes to your school, and one of your missions during it is to uh, save him, obviously. SOS. Or shit out of a shoe, something like that. Anyway, there's a number of how many zombies you have to kill before he's actually considered saved. And this makes number six. So, and he's going to get it up, thank you, and he's going to give you some zombie medals. Bullshit, he wasn't even touched. Whatever. Yeah, Dukes. Also, just uh, heads up, if you do let him die, he does become a zombie and then you have to fight him and he becomes a... They, they show him them later, but he becomes a stronger zombie actually. Which those suck. Let's see. Or pose more of a challenge rather. Destroying objects. Here we go. Zombie medals. Not all of them get destroyed, which is sad, but it's okay. Well, these do too. Never mind. Look at that. I lied. Okay, vending machines. I'll have to look out for those. Crawlers. Um, what I've learned about this, uh, the reason why I'm explaining most of this is because the intro normally would have done it in a really long and well it wasn't too long but text and stuff like that your X button uh, same with the Xbox gives you a low swing for your chainsaw which will normally chop off enemies that are standing up or ones that are towards the ground you can also use a jump and a slam down move and that's it's usually for headshots and square is for you know, Yeah, square for your pom-poms, and those will make the zombies groggy for the most part. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these moves, especially the ones that seem like over the top or fancy, are ones that I've already bought for a significant amount of money within the two levels that I've played. You can get a lot of coins really quickly. So health. Your health, uh, you can see the top left are the lollipops. And at any time you can press the dialog button. And you can just quickly eat one. And you can even do that while you're downed or while you're getting hurt. You're just, you know, you're extremely bad with that. I don't use, on easy and normal you don't use too many. Especially in the early levels. But I'm sure later on I'm going to be spamming them. Because I'm not the best at action games. But I do enjoy them, especially lollipop flavored health. Uh, oh, hey look, a lollipop. And uh, this probably isn't going to be a com. See, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm, this probably isn't going to be a completionist uh, let's play, especially since it's my first one, and I don't know where every little thing is. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, her Daisy Dukes are, you know, fully plated. She won't take any damage from that shit. Okay, that right there is your drop kick. But if you don't... Jeez, ah, I hate doing that. But if you do it and you're not close enough to an enemy, <laughs> you will fall to the ground. And it's kind of, uh, you should say, embarrassing. One shot. Whoa. And the cool thing about the drop kick is that if you actually, um, let's see, I missed and missed again. One, you can hit multiple enemies too. One out of the two enemies will be groggy and it will normally be a one shot kill. There are stronger enemies later that you might have to drop kick twice and then they'll become groggy and so on, but it all depends. What up guy? President is Warren G. Harding. Oh, that's convenient, fine too. 
Okay, this is one of the ones where you have to do the guys in waves. Get off of him. Yeah. Alright. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, take that. And that right there is the the um, chainsaw full swing, I think it's called, and that is actually the strongest. I think they blatantly say that's the strongest move you have, and that's uh, square, square, triangle, lollipop. All right. Now this right here is your fun. Uh, you'll hear the music change to Mickey, and uh, it's one of your most powerful. Uh, I don't, know, I don't really know the equivalent of it. But, um... Essentially, you one-shot everything. And I mean, like, even mini-bosses, harder zombies, you just you, you just take them out. And it's just overall fun to just be that powerful. <laughs> and you get increased uh, medals for sparkle hunting, which that's actually what it's called. And he is about to die. Give him a lollipop, Juliet. No, none for you. Okay. I don't know where he is. Get away. Huh. Gangster chicks. Anyway. I think there's only one left, yeah. So like I said, uh, compared to Dead Rise, they're not super timed, but... Uh, you know, you have adequate amount of time in between, so you don't feel super rushed, though. So. I don't know. What up, guys? Oh, wait, what are these? Oh, man. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, button cues and cool finishers and stuff like that. The, the finishers, you don't really have to buy. If they're on the ground and you do a certain move, you know, you'll, you'll just automatically do it. Yes, please. Alright. And we helped him out. Fantastic job, kid. But, uh... <laughs> he looks like he's dead already. And now he's definitely dead. Hold on, it's too dangerous. I'll meet you in the square. Nummy, nummy, nummy flesh. I like it. Jesus Christ. Bye. Oh no. He crashed over by the school and is probably dead. Okay. Just a second. <laughs> I really do like the graphics and shit hey, in this game. It's mom, Juliet. Hope you're taking care of yourself. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. Okay, so that was a phone call, and you do get them periodically, and it'll show in the bottom right, but you actually don't, I don't think you can answer it during the game. I've tried several times, and then I end up just doing stupid stuff like this, which doesn't do anything. So, uh, you can go back into her house, where I showed you earlier, and you can listen to them, the voicemails, essentially, so. I don't know if that counts towards the trophies or anything like that, but. So this is your shop to shop. And as you can see, I've already bought some things. And I end up buying this every time. And this will increase your health. The fruit crep. Rodent chow mein. <laughs> awesome. Uh, magic beans will also do it. Crunchy monkey cereal will increase your health. And this will increase your health as well. Let's see. Dumbbells strength and uh, aromatic yoga oil. Aromic? Aromatic? Okay, well anyway, and that'll increase your if you fall down, so. And then there's skills and stuff like that too here. And I've got most of them already. 
threads, MP3s, and stuff like that. So let's go. Self-explanatory. I'll I'll explain what the Nick shake and stuff is later when we actually get that function. Ah. Alright, so this is one of those special zombies. Usually they're named and they have a health bar. And they, they're red and they have like a berserker uh, attack, which is extremely obnoxious because you there's really no knockback for it. As you can see, they're actually pretty freaking tough. Alright. Yeah, no kissing in the alleyway! Alright. No! There we go. I like strawberries too. I do. Oh wait, 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 what was that? Okay. I like this a lot, where you can actually use your chainsaw to cut things. That's pretty sweet. And then later on, like they use it, you know, to where you actually have to turn the chainsaw and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool too. All right. This is where it's actually a lot of fun because you know there's so many zombies you get to kill. Not hundreds, not like Kingdom Hearts friggin' thousands of things to fight, which Kingdom Hearts 2 that was one of my favorite moments when you actually had to fight like a thousand enemies at once. That shit was pretty cool. But uh Right. He's not that attractive. Let's go. Ow. Chainsaw full swing. Hipster chicks die. Uh, if you see the circle, whenever you press circle uh, towards an enemy, you actually do a somersault or a leapfrog, I think it's called, over the enemy. And for anybody wanting trophies, if you do 10 consecutively, you get a trophy for that. So that's pretty cool. Other trophies learned about is like um, Juliet 51. If you do 51 drop kicks, you can get one of those for that too. So. No, get off. Take that, ho. Alright. I think we can get coins in here. Fuck recycling. Yeah. And there's helicopters. I'm not sure if these are the, just guards or if those are actually the people in the helicopter. I'm assuming not. <laughs> Sean is not dead. Okay, you can press R or L1 actually, and you can lock onto your target, but it really distorts your uh, your camera angle. See, it just I I can't do that. See, even <laughs> that kills me. Anyway, and George is done. So here's the mini boss. I would call him DJ Hex. DJ Hazmat over here. And get a little boss info. Him and his little minions, he is extremely he can be tough if you're like first starting off this game. And he swings that around until he decides to throw it, and if you get caught in that, it will explode and kill you. But if you want to just kinda kill all of them at once, 
You can enter sparkle mode. And one. And two. Yeah. And that'll definitely cut down on the time. So anyway, that was pretty much the prologue of Volleyball Chainsaw. And uh, we're going to go in the cutscene and then kind of wrap it up. So I hope you all join next time as we continue playing. Nick? Nick, are you here? It's okay to come out. Nick? Oh, please. Julia! You okay, Juliet? Yes, I. Are you? I, uh. I, uh. One bit me. Just a little bit. I, I don't know what that means. What does it mean? Huh? Oh, no. It can't be. I feel it in me. I'm gonna become one, huh? <laughs> I. Fuck. I'm screwing up your birthday, aren't I? I'm sorry, Juliet. I... I don't want to fuck up your birthday. My birthday? Don't worry about that. That's the dumbest thing ever. Uh, 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 listen, uh, I know it's stupid. We just started getting serious, but... Uh, I wanted you to know. I know I've never said it or anything, but I... I, I kind of sort of... You know... Love you. Uh, oh, I fucking love you. Oh. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> no. There's something we can try. It's the only chance we uh, have to save you. Julia? What the fuck? I love you too.